Why Do We Cry? by Fran Tintadera and Anna Sender. Mario had been quiet all morning. His mother sat patiently beside him. Finally, in a small, near whisper, the little boy asked, Mom, why do we cry? She thought about it for a moment, then answered, We cry for a lot of reasons, Mario. Sometimes we cry because the sadness we feel is so great that we just can't contain it. Other times, we cry because we're full of anger and we need to let it out, like a storm cloud releases rain. After that, we become lighter just like the cloud. We cry because sometimes we don't understand the world and our tears go in search of the answers we need. Some days we cry because we call out for a hug but all we get back is an echo. We cry because it helps us grow. Every tear nourishes us, little by little. If we didn't cry, we'd turn to stone. Some people cry because shouting for hours doesn't help. Others because they try to keep everything under lock and key, but their tears find a way to escape. We cry because pain hurts. Sometimes it's on the outside. Sometimes it's on the inside, deep, deep down. Tears are the best medicine. Often we cry when we run into a wall. When that happens, we don't cry because we're hurt, but because the wall seems impossible to climb. We cry because we're an immense sea caught in a storm. But once the storm passes and the sea grows calm, the waves leave patterns on the shore. Sometimes we cry because we can't find the right words. Lucky for us, tears speak an infinite language. But more than anything, sweetheart, we cry because we feel like crying. That's the most important reason. Mario hugged his mother tightly and kissed her on the nose like he did when he was a baby. Thanks, Mom. I feel much better. But why are you crying? Because my love, we can also cry when we're happy.